Hungary has been a member of NATO for 25 years. It's the only country blocking Sweden's accession to the alliance. Hungary's parliament is currently on recess, but opposition MPs convened an extraordinary session Monday to vote on Sweden's NATO bid. However, lawmakers from the ruling Fidesz party under Prime Minister Viktor Orban refused to attend. Tomposh Marton was among the opposition lawmakers pushing for the vote. On the one hand, you could say that it's miscalculation, they just uh, didn't catch the, the flow, didn't understand the situation. On the other hand, there are also understandings that uh, the only person who benefits from this is Vladimir Putin and uh, Mr Orban has did a few favours for him already and why not another one? Hungary's NATO allies are turning up the pressure. U.S. Ambassador David Pressman spoke after observing Monday's session of Parliament. The Prime Minister pledged to convene Parliament, uh, to urge Parliament to act at its earliest opportunity. Today was an opportunity to do that. And we look forward to watching this closely and to Hungary acting expeditiously. U.S. Senator Ben Cardin, chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, said earlier this month that Hungary was the least reliable NATO ally and that Washington should consider sanctions and travel restrictions. Germany said Tuesday that Hungary's approval of Sweden's accession was a matter of loyalty to the NATO alliance. Orban has made no specific demand, but has indicated displeasure with Sweden over its criticism of democratic backsliding in Hungary. Orban says his Fidesz MPs want the Swedish Prime Minister to visit Budapest before they approve his country's NATO membership. If it is important for the Swedes, then obviously they will come to Budapest, or at least they will take steps that will lead the Hungarian MPs to vote for the accession with good hearts. Sweden's Prime Minister has said he will visit Budapest, but only after the vote, and that the two issues should not be linked. Fidesz and Orban maneuver themselves into a dead end, and they do not seem to be able to correct the mistake, because right now I think they put themselves in the center of attention to an extent that it's just more difficult to leave this situation without a face loss. I, I do think that Orban will not let this situation